Excuse me, back up. Back up. Ah, look at her, she's a maniac! There is always something to do here at the farm and uh, well, I gotta get to it. We got some manure that needs to be cleaned out and then we're gonna drop it off and then we got some eggs to find. We've got some turtles to feed. So uh, come hang out with me while I get through all this stuff. what I like to see happy tortoises um, these guys can be a little bit of a pain in the neck because as soon as I start cleaning their uh, habitat or their home they wind up wanting to see what's going on they get curious they come on over they get in my way and they're big and they're hard to move uh, but these sulcatas I've had now since 2004 and I just love these guys um, they are amazing great tortoises if you in fact have the space and the willpower to keep large tortoises because it is a lot of work um, I like to spread the food out in a line and that generally uh, allows everybody a place at the feeding station so uh, seems like it's going well there's my biggest girl right there she's 120 pounds and of course Hercules is close to 140 so amazing tortoises third largest tortoise species in the world and here is their shed it's looking good it's clear it's clean I swept it we had some fire ants in there I killed last week so all their sand that the fire ants had moved into the walls uh, had fallen down and I was trying to sweep it out so I got to do this once a week and uh, just make sure that it's you know completely clean for these guys I don't want them to be living in their own poop that's no fun uh, okay, so now I'm going to do something very difficult and I need your help, okay? So just hang tight. Ugh. There we go. Let's see. One arm, one arm down, one arm down. We get to here and we drop it. Yeah, it's loud. It's obnoxious, but it's done. Okay, what do you say we uh, mosey on along and see what else we've got here on the farm that needs to be taken care of? The old camp. Uh, as you can see, I did a food run. There's the truck, loving it. Let's go see what our radiated tortoises are doing. I'm gonna throw some pellets out for them. Get these guys uh, a little nom nom session. I love them, man. The radiata are just amazing. Beautiful tortoises and they keep all this grass pretty much eaten up. So for them, I'm basically just gonna broadcast some of the chow here and uh, get them a little stoked. What do you say we do it? But what I like to do actually is I'm going to I'm going to entice them by walking over here. I like to kind of let them follow me. I'm like the Pied Piper of tortoises. And what I do is I actually feed them on these flat slate rocks. And I do this because I don't want them to ingest any sand um, more than they already do. They're grazing animals. All grazing animals are going to wind up ingesting some small bits of sand. And over time, it's possible that if they can't pass the sand, they can get an impaction. One of the things I like to do about once or twice a year is I give them um, a product called psyllium. Psyllium helps bind things together and helps it get out of their system. Now, what is psyllium? Well, it's a diuretic and you can get it at your feed stores and you can even get it at your local grocery store because it, it's also called something else, Metamucil. So you can get Metamucil and you can moisten the food. Right now I'm just gonna sweep these rocks off just so they don't ingest anything. So we're just gonna sweep, sweep, sweep. Uh, but yeah, it's called Metamucil guys and you can actually sprinkle uh, non-flavored Metamucil onto their food if you moisten it and that'll help them kind of pass any, anything that they might have ingested. It's just a good thing to do. So I just throw this on here. We're doing a nice little pellet feed today. Just a few handfuls because um, a little of this goes a long way. Because it's dry, when it rehydrates, 
it really does fill them up. So you don't want to overfeed your tortoises because as we know, tortoises can get fat and overweight. So we'll just leave this here and I, I'll tell you, their noses are incredible. Oh, here comes one now. Now they see me, they get interested in what I'm doing and I love feeding them. It's a good time to see uh, and make sure that they're actually in fact healthy because they're moving around, they're interested in food. You can just see how this tortoise is looking around for something to eat and he follows that nose. He may get a little blade of grass or that nose may bring him all the way over here to this tortoise chow if he would just get on. Look at this, look at him go. I love them, man. Their little personalities are so cute and they're just so perfectly designed for their lives. And I love giving them a nice safe life here at Camp Cannon. Just a beautiful, beautiful tortoise. Here we go. Oh yeah, he's got, he's on the trail. They've got incredible noses. Tortoises can sniff it all out and they're not far away. Come on, man, you can do it. Not the bag. You want the actual, I'll uh, see they zero in on that red tag. Let's move this way. All right, there you go. Ah, come on. You're almost there, kid. That's a girl. And there's the first little nugget. And they'll just chomp it and swallow it whole and very happy to do that. And it's usually a tortoise see, tortoise do because once one tortoise gets over here, all the others manage to get over here as well. So the ponds are looking good, really excited. Cichlids are good in here. All our new turtles are just kind of hiding out under the rocks and exploring. But we've got so much more to do. I still have some eggs I've got to dig up. So um, let's get to it. But before we get to the eggs, I of course have to stop and see Socrates, Nostradamus, and Darwin and make sure they've got a little snack. Oh, we also got to do their, clean out their water bowl. All right, I got to clean out the water bowl next, guys. Oh boy, like I said, the work never stops. There it is. Let me attack this situation. See you in a minute. Come on, Darwin. Oh, I hope she makes it all the way over here, folks. Well, we've got water trickling in. Very good, nice, clean, fresh water for everybody. And what I've done is I put the chow in different areas around the watering hole because it creates kind of like little feeding stations. I like for them to exercise and kind of climb up and around these uh, rocks that we've built. I've said this before in the channel, a lot of uh, Galapagos tortoises that are kept in captivity develop problems with their hips. Now, Darwin came to me, gosh, in 2013, I guess, right around then. And Darwin, I went all the way to Marin County to get, and she lived on a 20 by 20 flat slate area, and they raised her up, uh, you know, best they could. But of course, Marin Cal County, California, doesn't stay warm very much. Uh, in fact, it's one of those old sayings, the coldest winter I spent was a summer in San Francisco. And uh, Marin County is just north of San Francisco. So she belonged to a dentist. He got her in sometime in the 90s. She was a little thing and she grew up, but her back legs were starting to become splayed out. She didn't have very good posture. So my friend Colette Adams had written a paper uh, about Galapagos tortoises in captivity and exercise is key and difference of elevation is key and you can see that she's got to stretch out those back legs man you got to work on them sister she's got to do her squats she got to tighten up her butt and she's kind of you know it's it's important the gals like to keep the butts firm 
hey, I don't blame them. Uh, but you know, this is what's gonna happen right now. She's gotta stay uh, nice and exercised. And so that's what we're doing. We're creating an area where she's gotta work a little bit for her food. She's also gotta climb up and over if she wants to go into the watering hole. So we got that going. I'm gonna let this fill up. We've got good old Socrates doing his thing right there. And we've got Nostradamus. Actually, Socrates is a chick. Sorry about that, socks. But uh, Nostradamus is also climbing. Now, Nostradamus is a Aldabra tortoise. And, um, you know, there's nothing in any literature saying that I need to have uh, different elevation for this tortoise but you know what exercise can't be bad for everybody huh so i make it uh you know it's like one size fits all in this enclosure so they get a handful of the chow and uh they eat it all up and then at night they retire into their shed and the cool thing is, is that these guys have been going in the shed on their own which is really great it, can you imagine having to get three giant tortoises into their shelter at night well I can because that's what I used to do uh, but once they figured it out they realized that that's a nicer place to stay during the evening than under a tree or in a bush uh, look here are the elongated tortoises we're gonna chuck some food out for these guys a little treat we've even got some cherry heads and actually the cherry heads laid eggs so I've got to make sure I get those eggs you guys cannot let me forget to get the eggs in this video because I get busy doing all this other chores that sometimes I neglect something so we're just spreading this around these guys are going to be able to just kind of wander around and uh, walk and eat which is nice and I like to really spread it good because I always imagine it's just some kind of nut that falls down from the trees that these guys enjoy and uh, that's all they need I just wanted to give them a little taste remember we're in winter here in Florida so it's cooler than normal I know it's not Michigan or Minnesota I know you guys know what cold is but considering, or relatively speaking, uh, Florida has a cool, dry winter, so that's it. All right, keep it going. Throw some out for these guys. We're getting everybody fed, and it's very important to do. I like to throw it towards the door, and then these guys will sniff it out. So uh, what I'm gonna do is make my life easy. I'm gonna put this chow into a bucket. And this way I'll be able to carry it around easier than just walking around with a giant bag of the stuff. Here we go. This is my bucket. Yeah, very good. Oh, we even got a little plant growing through it. Hello. Okay, let's do it. Just a little more food for everybody. That's a boy. There you go. Cool, man. It's a party. It's a party. All right. Look at these two. I love my rhinos. Now we're not going to feed any carnivores today. It's just the herbivores getting fed today. So Slinky won't be getting a meal. You can see, look at this, some test nests. Hmm, interesting. Are these nests that I dug up? I think they are. There's still one or two nests that we need to find. The... These guys are certainly excited to eat. Oh boy. Look, look over here. Come over here. There you go. Again, less is more. Don't overfeed your animals. It's, it's very important not to do that. So they get a handful, they're reptiles, and reptiles do not have to be fed every single day, and they don't have to um, eat large quantities of food. They're cold-blooded, so their metabolism is slower. And again, during winter, you don't want to load them up too much because if they get a cold spell, and their bodies aren't able to digest, that could cause some other problems as well. So I just kind of feed them a few handfuls, let them finish what they have, and that's good. You see, he's got a little shed in his nostril. I, I gotta wonder, would that bother you? That would bother me. Let me see. Hey, look at that, we got it out. Woo, that was a long shed in his nose. That had to feel better, huh? What do you think, Petra? And here's my beauty, Petra. She's a good girl. And you see how they just let me kind of help them out they just don't care as long as they're eating look at this beautiful beautiful lizards um i love the cyclora oh my god so gorgeous all right there you are they're gonna finish all this up let's let them eat in peace and we will continue our chores for the day uh-oh i think guapo and lola are hungry 
we're gonna get in there and give them some din din as well throw a little bit more out there are 13 13 of them we're gonna revisit this enclosure here soon because we gotta dig up some eggs in there let's give the leopards some food oh look at this guys oh my gosh what's going on oh my gosh look at this the new female oh she's digging oh wow we might have some leopard eggs to dig out soon oh that's so awesome good girl you do your thing and look at everyone else is just kind of laying down here in the sun just enjoying themselves oh that's so rad she's starting to dig man she's gonna lay some eggs oh how cool is that huh and everyone's just really out in the sun that is perfect what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna again put some torch chow here in different places make it fun for them let they gotta work you know you gotta make your animals work because in nature they'd have to do that so i just put little piles around the cement watering hole because the cement is going to be cleaner than eating off the soil and also it'll help wear their little beaks down so we'll just spread it out just a little taste these guys are not starving i can promise you that we'll let her do her thing she's going to keep on working awesome man Woo! so rad i love it seeing eggs get laid means tortoises are happy happy tortoises lay eggs Okay, let's get in and get Guapo and Lola. And while we're in there, we'll say a little slinks. I know you guys love to see him. And he's doing awesome. Oh yeah, you know what? We gotta get these Looney Tunes some food. These guys are total crazies. Hi, how you doing? Excuse me, back up. Back up. Ah, look at her, she's a maniac. Get out of here, you loon. Get out, no, no, that's my fingers. No, that's my fingers. Gosh, you are a loon. You really are something. Oh my God. Get get back get back oh stumpy there you go just stumpy do me a favor don't take my fingers off oh there we go stump i'm gonna gently move you buddy don't bite me oh that's a boy there you go look look it's right there okay oh smokes these these two are uh whew, they're wild animals they are looney tunes all right watch your tail stumps okay lock it back up lock it back up now for everyone's favorite monitor lizard on the internet i'm calling it what's up sleeky hi buddy how you doing pal feeling good looking good just having a wander you've been digging yes you have you're a digger oh there he is everybody slinky's doing good as you can see still alive looking delightful as inquisitive as always my boy and yours slinks check out some of the slinky t-shirts we got man get one uh it makes a great christmas present uh we gotta celebrate Sl slinky's life oh and by the way i do have news about slinky oh come here there you go okay so because i have awesome friends uh greg whitstock and ed the pond guy and because slinky wound up eating that snake for their video got them all excited everyone loves slinky um they want to build slinky a pond right and where we're going to tear out this pond and give slinky full reign of this whole area and so i was like oh that's a good idea this will be fun right getting a new pond for the slinks hi Guapo and lola let me just empty this out okay come here I promise you're gonna eat and then I'll continue my thought. You gotta be careful when you're giving them food. They get really excited, so I just chuck it. I just chuck it down because uh, all bets are off when they are hungry. And here come Chinese box turtles. They're gonna eat some of this chow as well. So I feed these guys a little bit more because we do. We have a lot of little turtles running around and they get a couple of nuggets. Hey, you're going kind of, you're doing what, what are you, man? You're, you're going to really, uh, Difficult way. There you go. That's it. Be smart. Figure it out, turtle. All right. Chinese box turtles will get their meal. Uh, and as I was saying, I want to show you something. So if you've been following the channel for a long time, within the last year, uh, you're going to remember me talking about building the new iguana enclosure. Well, I kind of had a, um, what do you call it? An idea. Yeah, there you go. I had an idea and... Um, 
I want to make my life easier and I want to make Slinky's life better. So for me to get in here and jackhammer out this pond and uh, it would take a long time to do. I'm really not excited about that kind of work at the moment. Um, so what I want to do is instead of fixing that enclosure for Slinky, why don't we do this? And tell me what you guys think in the comments if this is a good idea. I mean, I'm going to do it anyway but I want to hear from you guys as well. So here is what was going to be the new iguana enclosure. But then I got to thinking, after Slinky's near-death experience, all that drama, I want to spoil Slinky. I want to give Slinky the ultimate life because he's given me so much companionship and friendship. So what do you say I do this? We are going to take down the screen here okay we're gonna take down the screen here we're gonna use knit wires heavy duty screen only on the outside perimeter and i'm gonna give slinky this entire habitat this whole thing is going to be slinky's house he's going to be able to wander this entire thing the whole thing has got screening uh under the ground so he cannot dig out it is a totally kick kick butt habitat so all this is coming out now the other good thing is i'm going to use less wood because i don't need to uh you know use any of these cross braces we're just going to pull these out move them to the perimeter uh we won't need as much wood i figured the pond can kind of go in this area we can actually incorporate these uh, around the pond you know we can have it snake around but it'll be a big pond maybe we can even decorate it uh, my friend Stuart from Universal Rocks uh, wants to do something really cool for Slinky so he's gonna help dress this cage up and make it look like uh, a lizard king's kingdom because uh, he is the lizard king uh, Slinky so that's what we're gonna do man it's gonna be it's gonna be nuts I am psyched so there'll be a pond huge pond because aquascape's gonna hook it up these guys love slinky they want to see him interacting in a natural uh ecosystem which is what they do so can you imagine this whole thing is going to be slinkies and then slinky's house i'll be able to break out that pond uh at my leisure and then i'm going to take the rhino iguanas and put them in there petra and petra uh tear down their existing house um and you know there you go uh i think it's going to be really cool man so this whole thing will be the slinky complex it's going to be massive and that's going to be getting done in february because that's when we're planning on uh scheduling it with the guys from aquascape to come down and just make one heck of a pond inside this so i'm really excited this is going to be the ultimate slinky hangout okay so now you know you guys are up to date on that i'm going to go ahead in here and we're going to see what's up with my girl lagatha and we're going to give some food to her roommates the elongated that live in here hey guys there you go there you go just spread it on out they'll wander around all day and eat it in the meantime lagatha and i we've had a few setbacks because i've had to grab her recently in order to put her inside her house and she was not happy about that right girl i'm sorry i don't have any food for you today it's not carnivore day but she is still allowing me to get close and everything looks pretty good good girl okay i won't get too close we don't want you to get upset see so i got to start over with her man but it's an it was a necessity i had to grab her to get her inside her box because she wasn't going inside the box on her own and on those cold nights that's just unacceptable all right girl okay there you go we're almost done feeding and we've got to now what are you guys supposed to i forget what i'm supposed to do uh what else do i have to do oh i gotta get those eggs you guys are supposed to remind me let's get this thing there we go yeah nice so i'm excited about doing this thing for slinky because i think it'll be a really cool habitat and he'll have plenty of space to walk around in um i think that's going to be awesome hey look there's lumpy let's hook him up get the lump going with a little treat hey lumpy you guys might have been wondering about him, how he has been doing in the last few weeks. Uh, actually, last couple months, no drama. This guy loves it out back. 
I like keeping him out here. He seems to be happy. And um, let's give him some tort chow. There you go, bud. Look down, buddy. Sometimes the tortoises don't look where they're supposed to. Come on, buddy, look. There it is. Oh, look down, look down, look down. Look down, look down, look. Right here, right here. Use your little sniffer. Use that sniffer. There you go, come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta lead a tortoise to chow. There you go. Okay, we did it. You, you handle that. In the meantime, I'm gonna spread some of this around. You guys saw that I recently went in here. We found our friends, the fly river turtles. So we'll give them some food. And then the rest of the food is gonna go to the cherry heads. All right, uh, excuse me, these aren't cherry heads. What are these? Hey, look, more red foots laying eggs. We got eggs to dig up and they're laying more. Awesome, man. We are in the middle of egg laying season. All righty, you keep going. That's why it's fun to get out of here and do this work. When you spend time with your animals, you see what they're up to. And uh, when you see what they're up to, what it usually is, is good. Okay. Or it could be that you need to pay attention because uh, they may need your help. But look at all of them. Look at all these loonies. Come on guys and girls. I like to just spread this out for these guys. They're gonna wander around and nibble. If you look back there, the leopards have found their little food feeding stations. So we just do this. All right, so we've got a mission. Whew. A lot of work, people. A lot of work. Hmm. Now, it did rain actually last night. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult to find the eggs. But before we do that, I got to give our blue iguana something to eat. There you go, bub. This guy will come flying right out of the place. There you go. Good man. Okay. Since I'm here, throw it over for the turtles that might be in that section. Then we'll give the rest. Whoa. We got to give the rest to the turds that are still in here. Hi, hello. We're still watching my buddy's croc monitor. She's doing well, but I also have the leprechauns and leper tortoises in here because it's been chilly, so here we go. We're gonna feed them up on this rock. Believe it or not, they have no problem getting it. Awesome. All right, guys. Now we have to find those red foot eggs, which I think are gonna be a little bit difficult to find. go they're on it now the good news is I do have my little egg poker here but where you just want to gently tap the ground but I don't want to break any eggs I know she was over here somewhere yesterday laying eggs but like I said it looked a little it's been uh, washed away a little bit now it might be right here, actually. I think it's right here. We got indentations, two indentations, and then it's raised up. Let's see. It's 
pretty soft in there. I think we found it. I think this was where it was. Yeah, we got it, guys. We got it. All right. These eggs were laid last night. All right, we got another. Now these eggs wouldn't have hatched because I think it's too wet over here, but that's why we're getting them out of the ground. Some people ask why I take the eggs out of the ground, and that's because I can put them in the incubator, and while they're in the incubator, I can control better the parameters for their incubation. So with these, you'll notice, guys, I'm also going to, um, they might rotate, but they, it, they've not been laid 24 hours. <coughs> Excuse me. There goes a little squirrel. Uh, what happens is reptile eggs, it takes a little while. It takes 24 to 48 hours before uh, those embryos start to develop. But what I'll do is I put a little mud in here, a little soil or leaves, something to hold the eggs. And I'm picking them up and I'm just placing them in. This way they don't roll around. Okay, so even if they did move a little bit, chances of me killing an embryo would be slim because there aren't really any embryos in there at the moment. Uh, so it takes, like I said, 24 to 48 hours for them to start to develop and then you don't want to rotate the eggs. And I wouldn't rotate the eggs anyway if you didn't actually see them laid because you don't know, you don't know how long they've been in the ground. So when you do pull them out, lift them up in the same orientation that they were laid. So now we head back over to the cherry heads where I saw another one putting eggs in the ground last night and she did it right here and again I can kind of tell you see this it's got a nice mound and then when you stick your fingers in gently you pull that cap off because they urinate on the soil and make a cap and here we go there's one I think it's a pretty good size nest for a cherry head Here's number two. Oh, she did a good job putting these eggs in here. That's for sure. They're in a pretty tight that's three. I think that's all we got, folks. I think we got three. I like to leave the, uh, you know, I, I sometimes leave these exposed because it allows me to know that I already dug them up. Hey, not bad. We've got seven eggs. Seven eggs today. That's cool. Plus, we got two more nests being laid from a redfoot and from our cute new snow leopard. Awesome. All right, and I got a lot done today, which is nice. Uh, I'll tell you what, we're gonna, we're gonna end things right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the incubator, get them all sorted out. You've been hanging out with me for a while. I do appreciate it, you guys rule. Channel has been just kicking butt. Uh, everyone who's been a part of this channel over the years, thank you for continuing to support it. Uh, also, you new folks that have just found us, thank you so much for coming around. Hope you guys enjoy what I'm putting out here. I do love these animals. I, I have so much respect and admiration for them and I do appreciate all of you guys watching the show. Thanks so much. I hope you guys are getting some good information and uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everyone out there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy your time and uh, I will uh, see you guys again real soon on another episode. Whew. Well, I gotta get cleaned up and get eggs and eat better. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications. See you all again. Bye.